He is the most powerful man in the U.S. Senate, and today Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said President Donald Trump has promised money for the Louisville VA Hospital. It's in the budget. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Doug Profit. But another Louisvillian in a powerful post suggests it's too soon to make that promise. It has been more than a decade since the VA first vowed to build that new medical center here in Louisville. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams picks up the story today. This project's been going on forever. Some who've waited on a new Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Louisville might call that an understatement. They've been hearing the promise for three presidential administrations. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was there in June of 2006 when then WHAS 11 political editor Mark Hebert reported on the initial announcement. I came here today to announce that the veterans of Kentucky will be receiving a new state-of-the-art medical center from the Department of Veterans Affairs. VA Secretary Jim Nicholson says groundbreaking for the new Louisville VA hospital is still two to four years away. Nearly 13 years later, some things have happened. Groundbreaking is not one of those things. About a year and a half ago, the VA finally settled on a location, Crossgate at Brownsboro and the Waterson, with hopes of breaking ground in 2018. Neighbors filed suit last year challenging the site. Still, the lot sits empty. And this will be the first time any presidential budget has included full funding for the entire VA medical center. Today, Leader McConnell described a phone conversation with President Trump outlining $400 million earmarked for the VA in Louisville. But I do think it's noteworthy. Here we are 13 years later under administration of both parties, originally announced under President Bush 43 and through the Obama years, now in the uh, third year of the Trump administration. Finally, I think at a place where we can see a light at the end of the tunnel and it's actually going um, to get done. But another Louisvillian has a role in all of this. Democrat Representative John Yarmouth became chair of the House Budget Committee when his party took control in November. His spokesman texted me this statement credited to Representative Yarmouth explaining, quote, being in the president's budget request doesn't mean it has been approved. I look forward to working with Senator McConnell to make sure the funding is included in the final spending bill approved by Congress. Today, Leader McConnell said he thinks he can see this project breaking ground in 2020. It is important to point out that the decision today does not impact the pending lawsuit over the site decision. Well, Chris, as you know, uh, Mitch McConnell never really endorsed the site. So many people, that debate went on for, for years here. Did he make an endorsement on Brownsboro Road and the Waterson today? No, he didn't make a decision and take a stance on a site. He said, I can help you get the money. It's up to you all to build it where you're going to build it. All right, 2020, not far away. We'll see if this happens this time around. <laughs>